when constructing the data in Excel, after you've downloaded it from my website, uh, as we learned before, it's going to come out like this. And then I transposed it to get it in column form. That's just a personal choice for me. Everything still will work for you if you want to keep it in row format. Uh, I will then, in terms of constructing a regression equation, uh, and actually, let me, let me pull this over to another fresh spreadsheet. I first want, just to be careful, I want to label my X's and I want to label my Y's, okay, my X and my Y. So I want to call it X right here. Just because if you're first learning this, labeling things is a great, great idea. And so this must be Y. When you're first learning how to do regressions in Excel, uh, it's going to be important to have that absolutely clear. So copy or sold depends on sales calls. Copy or sold depends on sales calls. To run the regression, go to data, then data analysis. Click on, if you're, you may be up here, click on regression and hit OK. The Excel will, Excel will ask you for the Y range, right? You know your Y because you pre-labeled it. Take the column heading as well as the data and grab it all. And then do the same thing for your X range. Column heading, all the data, grab it all. And if this is not checked, then check it. Okay, you want the labels. And output range, just like last time, is very important in terms of telling Excel where you want it to be. I'm going to tell Excel to put my data right there. Okay, this, these other items we'll get to later in the semester. And hit OK. And that gives us a, what we call an, a regression summary output, which allows us to see some important things. One of the things it allows us to see is our beta, okay, which is our, uh, the B, okay, of 0.26. If we go back to our, uh, our slides, right, we remember that beta, when we did it by hand, right, is 0.26. There it is. There's the 0.26. So that's the one thing Excel gives us immediately. Here is our y-intercept that Excel also gives us. Okay, the 19.98. And that is found right there. Actually, 19 points. Well, this is giving us 19.98 and by hand 19.96. Yes, that may matter a bit if we're in, say, Connect and it's asking for something uh, precisely. But... For now, generally, they are the same thing, right? They are very close to the same thing. We have the multiple R. The multiple R is the correlation coefficient. Okay, correlation coefficient. Okay, the 0.865, if you recall from earlier. Uh, this 0.865 was the correlation coefficient that we found, which is right here, 0.865 is your R. So what's the point here? The point here is just by running a 15 second or less regression uh, function in Excel, you are able to come up with your B, right? If you wanna label that B, and you're able to come up with your A, your B and A, which correspond to the uh, B and A of your regression equation. So here's your B and there's your A. Okay, so that's why it's important to first understand where these numbers come from, doing it by hand. And that's why it's equally important to understand how to calculate it in Excel just to speed things up and get you to your conclusion. Okay, and your conclusion is that Y equals a, which is your 19.98 or 96, if you look at the slides, plus B times X. And again, here is your B.